So a biologist excavated decades of plastic pollution from this bird's nest in Amsterdam. Is that a Mars bar from the 90s? Wow. World Cup 1994. Was this all in one nest? This was all one nest that they found in a canal in Amsterdam. What kind of bird? It's a common coot. They build these nests made of reeds, usually, out in the wild. One of my favorite features of the coot is their amazing feet. I, they're kind of weird, but also kind of beautiful. I don't know. I, I really like them. So yeah, this guy dissected one of their nests. There's actually so many wrappers that you can find the dates on all of them and create a chronology of mm -hmm. how this nest was built using garbage, basically. It's just another piece of, of evidence of how far-flung plastic pollution has become. You know, they're finding it at the most remote corners of the earth. This is a video from an expedition to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. No and these way. are plastic shopping bags. Wow. And then basically once plastic is in the ocean, it's just gonna stay there for decades. Yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere. It can break down into smaller little bits. I mean, you've probably seen all of these headlines about microplastics. microplastics. You know, they find them in breast milk. They find them in our brains. So this is almost certainly in my brain too. Yeah, yeah, most likely. We're accumulating these things in our bodies and not really knowing what effect that's gonna have on our health. Yeah, we're putting so much plastic out into the world that's making its way back into us. And the amount of plastic we throw out each year keeps rising. It's now something like 350 million tons. We only mm -hmm. recycle about 9%. That's not good enough. <laughs> and about the same amount leaks into aquatic ecosystems every year. All of this is the focus of this year's World Environment Day. The theme is Beat Plastic Pollution. <laughs>